Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before moving forward, please make sure to subscribe my channel for future updates. Today I am going to discuss you about one of the huge milestone in Android smartphone sector. Actually what is it? It is upcoming Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. The Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro are likely to be two of the best Android phones of 2023. But as we continue to race towards their expected October debut, we have yet to hear anything official about them. Leaks and rumors suggest we will be seeing both phones appear in their usual fall 2023 slot though we'll have to keep waiting for exact details while we expect to see a teaser of them at google i.o 2023 that didn't happen the google pixel 7 and google pixel 7 pro were first teased at i.o 2022 but unfortunately these phones remain a mystery unless you follow a rumor mean that is this year's phone have two code names, Husky and Shiva. Based on leaked display information for both devices, Husky seems to be the Pixel 8 Pro with a 2822 into 1344 pixel resolution, while the smaller Pixel 8 is Shiva sports a 2268 into 1080p resolution. The Pixel 8 is smaller than its predecessor. The corners of the phone's screen seems far more rounded, more in line with a Galaxy S23 Plus than the squared off corners of the S23 Ultra. This, this, uh, this design tweak is seemingly con Confirmed by in-depth display rumors with Google doubling and radius of its curves. The drama also revealed that both the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro will see brightness bumps up to 1400 nits and 1600 nits respective, respectively when viewing HDR content. Meanwhile, it looks like the Pixel 8 is getting a 120 Hz display, perhaps differentiate it from the Pixel 7a and its 90 Hz panel. Google has also graced the Pro with a flat 6.7 inches display, matching the panel on its smaller devices. Allow me to be the first to say it. Thank you, Google. Unsurprisingly, Google isn't rocking the boat here. These renders, which come from noted leaker on leaks, show off a device that looks like a slightly modified Pixel 7 Pro. Basically, there are three basic changes here, and they all point to a minor upgrade. These renders otherwise reveal the same dual camera setup on the back in a familiar Vice style camera array. What's interesting is that Google will seemingly switch to a polished metal frame rather than a brushed one, bringing the Pixel 8 right in line with Pixel 8 Pro. This might just be a stylistic decision for the renders though. The power button and volume broker remains in the same position with Google one of only a few companies that put power above volume. First prototype leaked in July 
pointed to a couple of big improvements for the Pixel 8 Pro. In addition to utilizing flat display edges, Google seems to be swapping to a matte finish for this year's model, at least on the black variant. The Pixel Fold also featured matte glass that was a huge leap in quality above what the Pixel 7 series used. So it's great to see that design trend will brought to the mainline series this year. As far as its specs go, we know Google Teaser G3 is currently in testing, codenamed Suma. Google's third gen custom chipset is rumored to be based on unannounced Samsung Exynos 2300 processor. It's based on Samsung 3 nanometer node, which developer Camilla says should be compatible to TSMC. The foundry currently relied on Qualcomm and Apple. The current Google Tensor G2 remains a 5 nanometer chipset, so this could improve efficiency and overall performance, both areas where the current chipset is lacking. Except it to be paired with 12 GB of RAM on Pro model, as spotted in the fastboard screen in July prototype leak. Likewise, we are expecting Google Pixel 8 lineup to support an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. It's still an under display fingerprint sensor, but it should be faster than the Pixel 7's optical sensor. We are optimistic that. The ultrasonic fingerprint sensor should be significantly faster than its predecessor but that it will keep pace with one on the Samsung Ultra, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The flagship Pixel 8 Pro looks almost certain to come with the built-in thermometer that was shown off in a leaked video in mid-May. The feature is a contactless thermometer that monitors your skin's temperature to help you determine if you are unwell. It is not it is not brand new feature for smartphones. We have seen Honor include is similar in the past but this is the first time we've seen this feature on a Pixel device. This appears to be exclusive to the Pixel 8 Pro and won't be seen on the cheaper model. Unlike with previous models, the camera lenses here are far more spread out across the device, giving each sensor some extra space and potentially helping to stop that nasty shuttering issue we have seen on last year's phone. They all appear in one element in this time too. On the Pixel 7 Pro True cameras were grouped together with the third camera on its own separately. Further, camera leaks in June revealed that the thermometer is just that a thermometer. It won't be capable of performing thermal readings on anything but the human body. Finally, on a deep disappointing note, the Pixel 8 series sound set to miss out on one of the most anticipated advancement in wireless charging in years. QI2 promised to bring MagSafe style pucks and pads Android phones, but it's unlikely to be included on this year's phone. The Pixel 8 recently passed through QI certification and it, its listing delivers the same QI 1.2.7 version number alongside 12 volt power limits it's possible though it is still unlikely that the pixel 8 pro gets this feature only time will tell you will like to you will likely have to rely on third party cases to take advantage of magnetic pucks at least we are getting a minor boost in charging speed if you are discussing the Pixel series, you can't ignore the camera. Google built 
its successor to the Nexus program on its impressive photo capabilities, combining excellent hardware photo with cutting edge software and AI power photo processor. In the past, we have seen Google stick with camera sensors for years at a time. It wasn't until Pixel 6 that the company ditched the sensor it used in the Pixel 3. But with this year's lineup, that might change. Developer Camilla spotted support for Husky and Shinx in Google Camera Go app, specifically referencing staggered HDR support. It's a fresh approach to HDR photography, simultaneously capturing short and long exposures to improve capture time. However, the GN1 sensor currently used on the Pixel 7 and Pixel 6 before. It doesn't support it on the hardware level, implying Google plans to shake up its camera tech on the Pixel 8. For other manufacturers, switching a new sensor after two generations isn't unheard of. Still, it displays a new, hardware-focused approach for the company. In June, Camilla returned with more information on cameras found in the Pixel 8 series, giving us a full roundup of all of these sensors found on Google's next smartphones. The Pixel 8 Pro is using a 5 mega. Uh, the Google Pixel 8 Pro is using a 50 megapixel Samsung ISO Cell GN2 main sensor alongside an ultra wide 64 megapixel IMX787 which eagle eyed readers may note is the same main sensor in the Pixel 7a and a telephoto 58 megapixel GM5 sensor also built into the camera array are the microphone flash and upgraded time of flight sensor for aiding with autofocus and the thermometer you read all about of all the thermometer you read all about at the top of this guide breaking this down the gn2 is an upgraded version of the GN1 found in the Pixel 7 series. We should be capable of capturing more light while improving shutter speed performance in low light settings. It's also capable of 8K30 video recording. Through Camilla says it's not in testing on the Pixel 8 right now thanks to poor thermal performance. The ultra wide center the ultra wide sensor is also all new quad trampling its performance the both larger and wider than the current IMX386 used in Pixel 7 Pro a big year over year upgrade all that said the telephoto sensor remains unchanged as does the 11 megapixel front facing camera. Let's also quickly touch on the smaller pixel lead, which in some ways in getting left behind the main lens. It's upgrading to the same main GN2 sensor, but it keep IMX386 ultra wide first used on Pixel 6. At the very least, it's wider than last year's lens, which was one of the which was one of our main complaints about the smaller Pixel 7. Unsurprisingly, Google is also working hard to improve night sight on its next-gen smartphones. In the latest version of Google Camera, the specific call changes made with the Pixel 8 series in mind points to better low-light photography when using Super Res Zoom. On the Pixel 7, Google Impressive Digital Zoom tool only works in Google Lightning. Try to use it at night to your open period. But with 
the pixel lead, it looks like the company plans to expand night sight to super res soon slot. Capturing better image through some computational magic. And speaking of software tricks, Google might bring some is photo unblur magic to videos. There isn't much to this drama, frankly, it's exactly what it sounds like. This tool called Video Unblur should aim to do what Photo Unblur does on the Pixel 7 series cleaning up your old footage and making everything just a bit more visible. The Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8. Pro released and pricing details are still a mystery. We can make some educated guesses based on the info previous Pixel releases. One of the biggest selling points of Pixel series over its past two generations has been its pricing. While the Pixel 6 Pro and Pixel 7 Pro are similarly priced to other top tier flagship the Pixel 6 and Pixel 7 provide buyers with some of the best value on the market. At 600 USD, both phones managed to undercut the competition, but it wasn't close. The unclear whether Google can maintain that pricing for another generation, but we certainly hope it can. The Pixel 7a cost $50 more than the Pixel 6a at 500 USD, so that may suggest that all Pixel products are getting a price increase in 2023. It's a theory. It's a theory bolstered by a recent leak from noted tipster Josh Barr. In listing out rumored specs for the Pixel 8, May of which line up with previous ramas. We got our first hint at what the price point could be. 650 USD may not sound like big boost price, boost in price, but it does match up with what Google did with the Pixel 7a in May. Whether the Pixel 8 Pro will also see a price bump remains to be seen, but don't be surprised. If the years line up, the start to kiss that $1,000 mark. And October release date seems like a safe bet. Google has fallen into some predictable patterns when it comes to phone launches, announcing the devices early in the month before launching them a week or two later. The past Pixel release dates are and indicated the Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro will hit the store shelves in mid to late October. Just because we are looking forward to an October launch doesn't mean we won't see an early reveal of course. Last year, our first look at the Pixel 7 series happened during Google I.O. This year, Google decided to debut its new fixed Pixel Fold and Pixel Tablet during I.O. But there's still a slight chance we'll get a glimpse of Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro before the official announcement like when Google randomly confirmed the Pixel 6 in August 2021. Google's Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro might seem pretty far from launch but it won't take long for news, rumors and leaks to start really. Until then, the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro remain excellent devices especially considering their routine discounts. If you, are, if you can't wait for a new generation of Pixel, both devices will serve you well. Thanks to the official Pixel 8 wallpapers already having link. You can even dress up your current smartphone to look like Google's next gen models. So I believe you may have pretty much idea about upcoming Google Pixel 8 and 
pixel pro before wind up the session please make sure to subscribe my channel for future updates thank you for being with me have a nice day